everybody, and welcome to Clear Path Guidance and Tarot. This is your monthly reading for the sign of Libra for the month of December. This month, I'm using the Gilded Tarot along with Doreen Virtue's Romance Angels and then one card from uh, the Moonology Oracle deck. If you are new to my channel, I just would like to welcome you. If uh, you watch this reading, it is a general reading. I want everyone, I want to remind everybody about that. It is a general reading. It is not meant for every Libra out there. Um, if the reading resonates with you, that's great. But if it doesn't, uh, you can always purchase a private reading. I will leave my email at the bottom of the video. Email me. I'll get back to you within less, less than 24 hours. And I will have the reading out to you in less than five days. Okay, a little bit about myself is that I'm a clairsentient and I'm a clairvoyant. So I see things and I feel things. So when I do a reading, I read people. That's where I shine. That's where I do my best work. And what reading people means is I pick up energies from other people. I pick up the feelings, emotions. I can pick up why somebody is angry, what they're going to do with it. It's reading past, present and future with the, with the feelings. And so if I feel love, I pick up love. If I feel anger, I pick up anger. If I feel like I don't want to commit, it's because that's what I'm picking up from that person. Okay. All right. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to shuffle till one card falls out. Those are clarity cards and jumpers. If more than one card falls out, I put it back in the deck and I shuffle till the one card falls out. Okay. Those are clarity cards and jumpers. All right. Now, when I pick up the energies from your Libras, I feel like there is balance in your life and you want to keep it that way. And I feel like you're a little bit going into your head about how it's like you're worrying about things that you do not need to worry about. It's like unfounded stuff. It reminds me of the Eight of Swords. Like you guys are overthinking about something and you don't need to because I feel that everything will be, be okay for this month. You guys will be able to get through the month balanced but it's your your overthinking things is what um causes you know that bit of uh you know the stress and worry so don't bring that into your life if you're you know if things are going well okay all right what is the message for libra for december messages for libra for december all right we have the lovers Libra for the month of December. Libra. Libra. Ace of Wands. Libra for December. I have a card that's flipped over. Libra for the month of December. Libra for the month of December. The Emperor. Libra for the month of December. I'm going to move this over a little bit. There we go. Libra for the month of December. Oh, two cards. Libra for the month of December. What are the messages? We have the world card. Libra for the month of December. The tower. Oh dear, see? Libra for the month of December. I've got another card that's flipped over. I don't know how this happens. Honest to God. Libra for the month of December. What are the messages for Libra for the month of December? We have the High Priestess. We have the Knight of Cups. Nine of Wands and the Queen of Cups. Okay, I just want to make sure we can see all of these. All right, so here we have the very first. This card is in the middle of the spread, which is the Tower. So I don't feel like there's going to be much of a tower moment here, but this is how you're feeling. This is what you are 
fearing. And remember I said that there's a fear here. I don't feel like there's a fear of anything. But it's like your mind going into overdrive, worried about the worst. Because the tower is the worst. It crumbles and it's like you having to rebuild everything. Follow your intuition. That's what the high priestess is saying is that you have all the information that you need. Follow your intuition. Don't let your head <laughs> um, uh, take over. And you Libras are kind of famous for that. You guys get stuck in your head. And if it doesn't make sense, it's like you um, think and think and think and think. All right. The connection is there. There's the lover's card. All right. So the connection is definitely there. It, this card is uh, about a partnership and deep love. And it's balance of poop two people together. It is a past life connection. It is a very strong, um, strong energy. And this is about attraction, decisions, it's maturity, it's growth. I believe it's growing. It's, it's getting there. Uh, this is um, uh, also a choice between two lovers. But I don't feel that this is the situation here. It's about committing to something, committing to the relationship and moving forward. You want to create that. There's the Ace of Wands. And the Ace of Wands speaks about uh, new beginnings. So the Aces, Aces are beginnings, Tens are endings. So this is about a beginning. It's drive. It's desire. It's fertility. It's ideas. You want to get this moving. You want to grow it. You want success. It is a good omen for success. Okay, and uh, an additional meaning is a commitment from a partner. So there's a passion. There's lots of passion here between the two of you. It could be an Aries man. The emperor is um, represents the sign of Aries. We also have the Knight of Cups, which is Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. This also can represent you wanting to take control. This is about strategic planning. And um, that could be the overthinking. All right. This is about authority, protection, support, courage, order, justice. You want to keep everything the way it is. All right. So there's, there's a worry here though. And you're, you're being a little bit too vigilant. I think, I think you need to let go a little bit. Okay. Let go of control. You have all the information you need. So do not worry about this. All right. So then we have the world card. The world card is, is about completing a goal, life, or lesson. So what is your goal? Is your goal to have this relationship be successful? It's about completions, it's success, it's rewards, it's expansion, um, future plans, taking seed. Everything is taking seed. Try not to worry, okay? So you could get that offer. There's the Knight of Cups. And this card is saying that you're going to get that offer. The Knight of Cups is about a Prince Charming. It's a romantic love. There's that card again. Between, between the world card, you've got on top and bottom. There's that offer. There's the connection. Okay. You, you've been through a lot. The Nine of Wands signifies um, someone who's been fairly beat up. You know, he's on his knees. He's tired. So, um... He doesn't have much further to go. And the Nine of Wands is just someone who keeps pushing forward. This is about determination, strength. This talks about feeling exhausted and you're taking all your efforts and you keep going forward. Okay? You're determined to make this work. You're determined to move forward. All right. Even though you are a Libra, this card here is the Queen of Cups. And this card signifies someone who's nurturing, they heal, they support. Uh, I feel like you want to be there in the future because she's looking forward. She's looking into the future. So to me, can you guys see that card? I hope. To me, this signifies she's looking into the future and still wanting to support and nurture this relationship. Don't let your head get to you. All right. Don't allow your thoughts to overtake you that you think that this is all going to be over with. All right. Okay. So I am going to let one card fall out from Doreen Virtue's Romance Angels. What's the message for Libra for the month of December? Libra for the month of December. Libra for the month of December. Make that effort. There you go. 
Great love is worth taking the steps you're guided to take. Make the effort. It'll work. Okay. And Moonology. What is the message for Libra for the month of December? Message for Libra for the month of December. Message for Libra. The energy is gaining momentum. There you go. See that? It's all gaining momentum. You have the power. You already have uh, all the knowledge that you seek already. Okay? All right, everybody. There you go. That is the reading for all of you Libras out there. I hope you guys enjoyed this reading. Again, if anybody would like to purchase a private reading, email me and I will get back to you um, on how to purchase a private reading and have it out to you within five days. Again, I would like to thank everyone for subscribing, sharing, liking, commenting, thumbs up. I truly appreciate it. Um, and uh, if you hit, hit that bell icon, you'll know every time I download a video. All right, everybody. Thank you for watching and I hope you have a great month. Bye-bye.